So, have you thought things through? I haven't. Um... I want to join the Express. Then come with me. Himeko is really beautiful, yes. Ooh, the game is kind of like... Yeah, the musical is nice. Um, hey, you over there looking dumbfounded. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Pom Pom? Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Okay. Pom Pom's sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. Okay, damn. Way to make me feel useless. I'm Pom Pom, the conductor. Just come find me if you have any trouble. Okay, Pom Pom. <laughs> Pom Pom is just like, you're nothing special. Thank you so much, Pom Pom. Oh, nice! We can clean good stuff, I guess. Good shit, good shit. Um, okay. We can... Oh! Hmm. Nice. Open 10 treasures. Oh, I still have one to get. Okay, nice. Level 7. Oh, this is Welt? Welt Young. Oh, it's you. How do you feel? Uh, he sounds old. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, very tasteful? Tasteful? Oh, you mean the train. I was, uh, asking how you felt physically. <laughs> he is old? How old? You are right, though. Looking at the interior decoration, you can tell trailblazers have quite good taste. In any case, I have to thank you for saving March. Uh, you guys saved me too. <laughs> All I did was calm that thing inside you down temporarily. I don't want to frighten you, but the truth is you won't ever be in the clear while it's still inside your body. However, as long as the Stellaron is still in your body, you should be careful what you do. I don't know if Himiko and I can suppress it again, but... I won't bore you any longer. So much happened at the space station. You must be tired. Papa Welt. There should be some time until the next warp jump, so feel free to walk around and familiarize yourself with the environment. Yay! All right, all right. He he is kind of like a grandpa. Is he worse than John Lee though? John Lee. What do you think? Does the Astral Express look the same as you imagined? <sighs> as expected, <laughs> it looks like a train. <laughs> Everyone on the Express is a passenger. Okay. We're all heading towards an unknown Whoa. destination. Like we're traveling together. Maybe that's why the Trailblaze chose such a look. Oh, right. March and Don Hung should both be in their rooms right now. You can go look for them. You youngsters should get along well. You know young people. Their rooms always reflect their personality. Young people? Aren't you young yourself? You can go and have a look around. Nothing beats Osmanta's wine. Also, don't mind Pom Pom's antics. They're actually pretty interested in you. It's just that we haven't had new passengers on the Express for a long while. All right, I won't steal Pom Pom's thunder. If you have any questions, just go ask our conductor. Pon Pon. Osmento's wines taste the same. A blade. Wait, wh what? What Ayaka says? A blade. 
A plate, blah, 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 it's duty. As a jeweler, blah, blah, blah they're gems. <laughs> Who where are those who share the memories? <laughs> I already forgot Ayaka's lines. Because I, I have not been using her. Whenever like I use her, I switch real quick so she does not talk. John Lee would drive me insane repeating his Osmentus wine line. Like, bro, we got it. We got it. Osmentus wine. That's an interesting looking chair. You already insane? <laughs> you have John Lee on your team? Oh, we don't jump, I forgot. I was gonna jump there, but... Oh yeah, Nahida is very quiet. And Yoimiya is cute. Yoimiya is a cutie. Hey, cuties. <laughs> Baiju is also quiet. I thought he would be like coughing and dying. I'm so sorry, Baiju stands. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh yeah, he coughs. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, no, 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 hey, no. Hey, no. you don't have any questions to ask Pom Pom? Pom Pom, I'm so sorry. Is it because you think Pom Pom talks too much? Or is it Pom Pom's age? You youngsters gotta learn to bridge that generation gap. <laughs> uh, where's March 7th's room? Oh? Why are you interested in her room? Pom Pom, excuse me. Ah, oh, Pom Pom remembers Himiko saying that you saved her. Mmm, very brave. Very foolhardy. But that March 7th's room is in the express sleeper compartment. She's always running around, so she might not be there. I'm so sorry, I skipped Pom Pom. About Dan Han. Dan Hong's room? Oh, you mean the archives? He sleeps in the archives? Ah, uh, he's just sort of living in there, I guess. I can't be bothered getting him out. March 7th's room is right next to the archives. You can visit him on the way. Is that a phonogram? You recognize this as well? No, actually. Yeah, Himako always likes to bring back weird junk and try to fix it. That also got modified a bit. That's all my questions. Pom-Pom still needs to prepare for the Express's warp jump. You can look around the place yourself. No matter where you go on this train, Pom-Pom will always have my eyes on you. Every step you take... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so the voyage continues. Let's speak with Don Hong. Don Hong. Here. Is this his room? What happens here? Oh my god, he sleeps on the floor. Wait, this floor is kind of cool. Hmm. Hello. Can I help you? Maybe just looking Feel around. Feel free. This is open to everyone on the express. While many of the roads that Akivili traveled along no longer exist, I think it's still meaningful to record our adventures as current passengers of the Express. I feel like the settings are different on this. I, I gotta check. I enter the collected data into the Archives databank. I try to catalog the people and places the Express encounters and compare and contrast them with the existing records. Do you see the terminal over there? It can be used to view information already stored in the databank. Do give it a go. Why? Why do you want to be... Okay, well, it didn't change shit. Okay, so what is the databank? Let's see. The databank stored various information collected during trailblazing expeditions. Open the character screen. View character details. In the databank, you can view each character's story and voice lines. Okay. Sure. Should I click? <coughs> Hello. Welcome aboard the Astral Express. My name is... Oh no, I'm so sorry! <laughs> uh, you're just in time. We haven't taken our selfie today. Huh? Do we take selfies every single day together? Uh, I'm gonna get some rest after I've sorted these photos. Don't stay up all night playing video games again. Uh-oh. Too late, March. Story. 
A spirited and quirky young girl who is into all the things girls her age are interested in, such as taking photos. She was awakened from a piece of drifting eternal ice, only to find that she knows nothing about herself or her past. Though initially feeling dejected, she decided to name herself after the date of her rebirth, and thus, on that day, March 7th was born. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that her backstory was... Ooh, let's hear him. Hello. Wait, let me see his story. Wait, is that spoiler if I read his story? Because I didn't meet him in the game yet. Is it spoiler, guys? Do you think it's better if I don't? Hey, you know, with Sampo Kuski <laughs> by your side, you got a businessman, chaperone, and problem-solving conversationalist all rolled into <gasps> one. Pretty sweet deal, huh? What was that, hey? Hey, you know, with Sam So, what's the job this time around? If you got the cash, I got the... No cash? <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> Just say the word, pal. Come on, get some rest already. What's the matter? I'm not going anywhere. Me? I'm just an easygoing fellow that looks out for the little guy. Free of charge, I might add. Uh -huh. Who somehow gets pulled into everyone else's business with nothing to show for it. <laughs> like I say, I'm an easygoing fellow. Uh-huh, Sampo. Uh -huh. He's like the Ito of Star Rail. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. I love him. Let's see Don Han. He is like so stoic. He gives like a Hayton with Shao and John Lee vibes. I should reintroduce myself. My name is Don Hunk. I'm the guard on the express. I also administer the train's data bank. Don Han. I updated the data bank entries today if you wanted to look anything up. That's your greeting? Hmm. Time to turn in already? Thanks for the reminder. It's easy to lose track of time in the archives. Before you know it, a whole day has gone by. See you tomorrow. I'm still gonna see you today, bro. Let's see his story. Um, a cold and reserved young man who wields a spear known as Cloud Piercer, he acts as the express guard on its long trailblazing expedition. Don Han never talks much about his past. In fact, he joined the express crew to escape from a past of his own making. Nobody needs to make me read anything. I'll get there. I'll get there at some point, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. Hi, the name's Serval Landau. Oh my I'm god, a her voice mechanic. is so different of than course, I expected. It's really just what I do on the side. Rock and roll is my main occupation. She, I thought she was gonna have like a Beidou type, type of voice, you know, like deep, deep voice. But no, she actually sounds very delicate. Huh? You start work this early? No, actually no, girl. Signing off now. <laughs> Time to get some songwriting going. Yeah, she's really pretty. She's really, really pretty. Uh, we have Asta. I don't know. Like, I, uh, I have, I have, I have two constellations of Don Han right now. <laughs> um, the masked fools tell a parable of the birth of their beloved Aeon. That's right. That's a lot of a lot of things to read, but I'm gonna read them off camera. Otherwise, like, it, I'm gonna bore you guys. Some scientist before he went mad. Who is that refer uh, referencing? Um, there's like the... I don't know. Have you ever been like Rick Road before? If not, you probably don't know. <laughs> don't I'll on. be entering any new information we encounter on future journeys. So drop by any time to check it out. We also have a shortcut on the terminal device. Oh. I didn't take you to be a scholar. Seems like you have some deep misunderstandings about me. Uh, well, I think I know who caused that. I have matters to attend to. 
feel free. Okay. So we're visiting March. You knock, but there's no response. The door is unlocked. Should I go in? Ah, this is so wrong. Just a little peek? Just one look should be fine. Right? Please, I think I made a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. Oh no. I should have gone. Okay, she's not here. Thank God. Oh, her room is so cute. Wait. Oh, she has a lot of pictures in here. Wait, she doesn't have a picture of me. I'm hurt. Make a choice I won't regret. Reach the future. I'm hurt. She does not have a picture of me. I don't want to. So I don't much want her has anymore. happened in such a. This is a shy, full length mirror. No matter how much you fiddle with it, it won't move. What? A shy? There's a bunny shaped lounge chair. Oh, there. Okay. Oh, her room is really pretty. What the hell? Yeah, it matches her a lot. So she's not in here, and I'm snooping. The computer is stationed on the table. I see. That's a pretty cool table. I think it's kind of like mine. Mine is also like L. Oh no, her table is not L-shaped. She just put something else though here. Mine is L-shaped. I need a lot of space. Ouch! Uh, hi. Hello. Attention, all passengers. Attention, all passengers. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. I think I am in the very beginning I of the repeat. game. The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers. Sorry, Pon Pon. Oh, there is March. Hold on, March first. Uh, there you are. Are you looking Wait, for me? This is your first trip, so that should be double the excitement, right? That's the spirit. <laughs> I was excited the first time I experienced a warp jump too, but I'm used to it now. I don't think you can customize the stuff. Maybe you can. I don't know. Like if it's kind of like Genshin, you have like your teapot and stuff. So maybe you don't can. Don't worry. You'll get used to it too. And before you know it, you'll be a mature and dependable passenger just like me. The first step is to grab a hold of the root cause of your anxiety. Uh, you can't just grab something like that? I mean... Well, it is a little abstract, but basically you just need to pinpoint what's bothering you. Lack of money? The second step is to focus all your anxiety on that point. So I focus all my anxiety on the lack of money? Okay. I'm ready for step Seems three. Seems like you're a natural. It's not easy to reach this level of enlightenment. Now for step three. Yank out that anxiety and cast it away with all your might. I can't. Uh, well, I've cast out of the anxiety now? I didn't. Really? I've never been able to do it successfully myself. I'm just, I'm just lying to you. What does it feel like? Like all your worries have been swept away? No. Hey, Pon Pon. Pon Pon's so cute. <sighs> you took long enough, but at least everyone's here now. Where is Dunham? He won't be here, so just leave him be. Damn. <laughs> oh yeah, take these. What is this? A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. What is he giving me? Okay. Nice. Wow, that made so much difference. This one here gave the, the, definitely made a lot of difference. Yeah, um, right. So this one right here is okay, the one everyone. bringing it home. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March, always running around the express like a headless chicken. Oh my goodness. Pom Pom's going to start the final preparations for the jump. Um, okay. So I was supposed to only get one then, right? Oh, now I can add friends. Let's go. Well, I... 
I guess I... Uh, I can't pull. Yeah, I have four. Well... That's, uh... Very nice. Very, very convenient. Uh, yeah. I can't get a five star yet. <laughs> anyway... Whatever. Where is it? What? Oh, I have resin. I forgot. Wait, what is this? Huh? Is this a map? What is this? I am so confused. What the hell is it? Oh, the map. Wait, what? Oh, now I can, like, add people. Okay. And I have like friend requests. Okay, sure. Alright. That's fine. We tutorials as well. Um, I already got it. I already got the rewards, I guess. Let's go. Are you ready to move on to the next planet? Yes. What's the next stop? The universe. The Astral Express. Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? Oh wait, it's me talking? The Stellaron thing. In my body. Are you trying to catch the stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. I can't even think without March but popping up. It wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. Huh? When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. Oh. The whole crew was watching me. It was... Pretty embarrassing. The whole crew was watching you? Uh-huh. Like I was some kind of weird alien. I don't really blame them for being curious, though. They had no idea where I came from. You might not believe it, but before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. Himeko and Mr. Yang and... Who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and saved me. Hmm, how'd you get frozen? Who knows? I don't remember anything before that. I see. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. It's, it's kind of like odd that she would call herself March 7th. Like, wouldn't she want to choose a name? Like, different than March 7th? I mean, March is kind of cute, but... Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day, I can find my past. Uh, what am I talking about this for? A way to get everyone down, huh? It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh... <laughs> Cheer up! It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. Bon bon. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Yes, I started Star Rail like a couple of days ago, but I have been slacking on it. Turn to your seats, please. Both of you. Things could get bumpy. Let's go. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. I think Pon Pon's trying to remind us. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to <laughs> challenge herself. And falls over every time. <laughs> with Pon Pon's face. Pon Pon looks so done with March. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Conductor, can I get a juice, please? Thank you. Uh, we're jumping in five minutes. 
You can have something to drink when it's over. But I'm thirsty now. I mean, Pompon is sassy, but Pompon is not rude. A very comfortable sofa. Hold on tight and wait for the jump. Okay, let's go. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> All passengers, please return to your seats. Oh my god. The train is about to make the jump. Hold on, everyone. March. Five, four, three, two, one. Those millennia. Wait, is that it? Is this what your Relo 6 has become? <laughs> Wait, was that? Was that the jump? Nah, you're kidding. Like, I was expecting like a, a super comical part of the train, like March 7 falling, everybody screaming. That's it? I was. I, w was that it? Okay, well, all right. The <laughs> train goes room. The end. yeah, isn't that the same thing that happened when you go to Inazuma? Like you go into like Beidou's, um ship, and then you're like, "Whoa, we're gonna have like a crazy journey to Inazuma!" And then it's like cut to Inazuma where Toma is just standing there. <laughs> uh huh. So, that snowy planet is our destination this time? Easy? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Oh, spatial readout anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended indefinitely. Anomaly? Hmm. The complex locality of this world has been affected somehow. The star rail has been blocked off by something. Take an ordinary train as an example. It's like the tracks up ahead have suddenly snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. Don't talk about abyss, girl. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. Like what? This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. Gotta be what? Hello? The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly stems from a stellar run, as <laughs> always. I don't know, like, why he. Uh, well, it's just coming out of nowhere and talking made me laugh, but I was just like, whoa. Yes, just like the one that's been placed into your body. Don't worry, it's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herta isn't able to fully understand them. But at least we know how to neutralize their influences. Okay. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. I forgot the old man is also on the on the standard banner. I forgot. Wait, like I want to know why there's so many characters on the standard banner already. Like why there's so many? Like there's Gepard, there's Himeko, there's Welt, there is um. Who else? He's an old man, isn't he? There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urielo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Our current theory is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. Mm, why can't the people in the world's effect to save themselves? So we're like a chivalrous band of cosmic knights? <laughs> right! You finally get what we're all about! Pretty cool, huh? 
Wow, March, that was supposed to be a joke. She's making me feel terrible right now. <laughs> I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. <laughs> she was just looking like... Okay, moving on. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Can I choose my team? <laughs> uh, I'm kind of sleepy. Hey, that's not the spirit. <laughs> so it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to okay. get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. Oh, who knows? I might get you on the standard banner and you're gonna come with us, old man. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. Sure. Okay. We start a new adventure. Oh, God. Get out! This Pompon walk so funny. So cute. You're so cute, Pompon. Ah, uh, Pompon. Oh, Pompon is so cute. What the hell? Nice. I love Pompon. Hello, Welt. Ever since the destruction sowed Stellarons across the universe, many worlds have changed. Nanook, the destruction, Yausha, the abundance, Terminus, the finality. I've seen and learned a lot in my time, but I still struggle to understand some of the Eon's actions. He talks like an old man in my time. Are you doing okay after your first jump? Yes. Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. Sorry, that's so loud. I feel fine. Mm, so you have high compatibility with the Express. That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. Walf said it was caused by a Stellaron? He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. So far, so good. I really like the characters. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a site for initial investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Mm, can't you and March 7th go? Oh, Himeko wants you and me in March to go. As I expected. <laughs> Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himeko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. Oh, so that's why Welt was disappointed, because he also wanted to go. And even after you arrived... I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Wait, right? uh, is Dunhunt saying that he does not want to go with us? Because if he does not want to go, hey, you can be benched. It's fine. I have E1 Dunhunt, but like, I can just leave you benched if you're going to give me attitude like this. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. I don't need you to join me. Get out of here. Okay. March is... Find March. March is literally here. Did you talk to Don Hung? Wait, How'd are... it go? Are you guys, like, in bad terms? Full of enthusiasm? Really? I find that hard to believe. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced trailblazers. We got your back. You have 27 ticks and 8k jades. How do you guys save so much? I literally have nothing right now. Well, are you ready? Sure. Let's go. When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still, the ice that trapped me was six-phased ice. A very rare substance. 
I don't think you can find it on your average planet. I see. We won't know unless we have a look ourselves. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. Okay. <laughs> What? Is there something on my face? Nah, I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have here. <laughs> uh, I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. Uh, let's go! Alright, here comes the Eurelo 6. Trailblaze team. Here comes the catch. Oh boy. I I only was able to do a 10 pull. I only was able to do a 10 pull on seal, and that's all I got. Unfortunately. I mean, I got a Dun Hunt constellation. Very, Eureka very good. Six. We're here. Okay. <sighs> There really is one big snowball. And you guys are not ready for the cold. Look at your clothes. It really is one of the biggest snowballs. Hey, snowball. get your own metaphor. <laughs> <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. And then what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay. Um. Why didn't we land at the destination? Hmm. Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Tykean Stadium? Or shall I? Oh, please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. Oops. Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! So it was her fault, I see. Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phase ice powers. And Don Hung... Uh... He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. So if people start creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Uh, yeah, they're gonna regret it. <laughs> so how long does Copy Titus last? Until I am done with you. Let's go. Braving the unknown? That's the real spirit of trailblazing. Oh boy. Famous last words. Hey, we got Shampoo back. There's Shampoo. That's my team. Can you guys see my team? It's the main character, March Shampoo. This place still hasn't been corroded. In Serval. Yet fragmentum monsters have already made it here. I fear the Stellaron may be exerting his- Sorry, Don Han. <laughs> Time for the main event. Let's see how she does. Turn up the volume! Is it too loud? We're just having fun! <laughs> Watch this! Easy. <laughs> How are you gonna win if you don't take any risks? Yeah, she uses a guitar. Really cool, right? Uh, let me just lower the volume on my... Oh, brother, what am I doing? On my end, because it's like... Gonna explode my eardrums. Okay, now it's better. Okay, teleport. We'll see when an O tap is. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Yang will know what this is. Let's send a message. What is this, Mr. Yang? It's a Calix, a strange entity born from the phenomena of space distortion. There are some reality data in the Calixes that might come in handy, but please be careful when coming in contact with them. The existence of these calyxes is still a mystery to us, and the danger within is incalculable. In your coming journey, you might come across other calyxes like this, and the reality data stored in different calyxes may vary, so look out for that. I see. Defeat enemies to obtain general materials. 
Okay. What is... Huh? This game modes cost Trailblaze. Oh, it's Space Lay Line Resin. I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay, investigate. Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Who's there? Holding your breath won't help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or the snow, in this case. They just need a helping hand. Get out! Um, what is go- My oh. high fellow, was that really necessary? <laughs> He's crawling around in the snow a crime these days. <laughs> I mean, come on, surely. It doesn't warrant a spearing. What is he doing there? What was he doing on the snow like that? What the fuck? But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. <laughs> you could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides... I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Bro, what are you doing on the snow? <laughs> Is Captain Jepard around? Oh, it's Jepard. He's an old buddy of mine. It's not Gepard, it's Jepard. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. I'm you. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> Bro. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel the main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the front line. Wait. This is a golden opportunity. Don't tell me I get a free shampoo. Uh, what? What business are you talking about? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a silver main guard. Is there a settlement nearby? Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, the dicier things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Why were you hiding me? No. You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the Silvermane guards were paying me a visit. First off, why is he not covered in snow? Second, why is he not shivering? What is going on? Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in the snowdrift. And you'll be in a cell before you know it. I have no idea who the Silvermane Guards even are. You really don't know? The Silvermane Guards are Bellabog's soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of people. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. <laughs> Everybody's confused. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. 
There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. He's so dumb. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. <laughs> but, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosky's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. Oh, my God. So why were you hiding from the Silver Mane guards? <laughs> eh, we're just storing a few relics away. Wait, there's two shampoos? serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Are we friends already? How? Rule number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called... Invisible snow walking helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Oh, who are they? <laughs> uh, you remember the silver main guards I mentioned? That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest them. Okay, why he do? It's now or never. What? Over to you, dear friends. What the hell he do? Hey, where do you think uh, you're? My tempo. You're just having fun. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. Um. Oh, I don't. Oh no, no. <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, okay. pretty good crowd today. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. I don't think this is supposed to be his character trial. <laughs> right? Time for the main event. Turn up the volume. We're just having fun. Oh, I don't have any more. <laughs> my turn. Nah, I guess. Oh, it's not? Okay. Let's make it quick. Hey, we done it. That was easy. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh shit, we're fighting him. Hello there. I, Japard Landau, captain of the Silver Mane Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Bro! Ugh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. What is this weapon? Suspect. Relinquish your resistance. What is this weapon? Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. I'm liking the game so far. It's really fun. I love the characters. So he's a boss. I see. Keep up. It's my tempo. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. <laughs> okay. You have the worst luck running into me. Let me um, put a shoot With on me her. out here? How can we lose? Uh, rules are made to be broken. Oh, let's go. Better up, dude. That damage was insane. <laughs> Try that again. That damage was actually kind of <laughs> time for th let's rock a lot <laughs> on the shield. <laughs> Ready to lose yourself? Yes. Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. My turn. Check out this awesome move. Huh. 
Oh my god, using the oats reminds me that there were people angry at me because I was not using my oats. <laughs> I was not using my oats before, so like people were angry. I just forgot that you could use them. In my first video, yes. Watch the face! <laughs> Watch the face. And the okay. prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Wait, it's over. It's over already? The fight? But yeah, people were mad at me for not using my ult. I mean, the video was like, what, 40 minutes long? <laughs> and I had the opportunity to use my ult, like, what, four times? And then, like, right after that, I used my ult. So, yeah. <laughs> I... I don't know. Apparently it's painful to watch me playing the game. Okay. Oh, please don't... Don't start... Don't start spoiling! Oh, no! God damn. Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by, plotting his next move. Uh, you might be waiting longer than you think. As in, forever. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? Damn. We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. <sighs> we had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects. Ooh, not now. Oh, I was expecting deep voice. I was expecting deep voice. Hmm. Take them away. I don't want I don't want Jeopard anymore. Mm. Mm -mm. But we're not from Bellabog. I was expecting like deep voice, very like mean. He's not. God damn. I guess it's Blade. It's just Blade for me. Show him the photos, March? Photos? Ah, oh, you're a genius! Great idea! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold! Yarilo 6! I wouldn't say it's same vibes as L1. <laughs> but, um... It's kind of... Not mean enough? Or not goofy enough? I am kind of between the goofy guy and the extremely mean, terrible villain guy, you know? That's like the two opposites that I like. Whatever is in between, it's kind of like, no, get out of here. Unless it's like very angsty. If it's angsty, then it's on, you know, it's balanced, but... I guess he's just like too much, too much of a normal guy. You mean to say that this white ball that's here, that's our home? How can that? Ayato, honestly, Ayato looks like he could just, you know, like he judges you with whatever you're doing. Like he, he the kind of guy that would look at you and, and think like, oh, are you, are you sure you're going to say that? You know, like this kind of guy is going to judge you for whatever you do. Like that's mean. That's being mean, you know. Hmm. It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors <laughs> from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. He mocks you when you open chests? Yeah, I heard about that. Welcome to Bellabog. 
the city of preservation. Doesn't he look like an anime hero? Just like your usual anime hero? NPC anime hero? <laughs> like, he does not... Here, he does not really look like a... A five-star character. He just looks like an NPC. Like, I'm sorry, Jepard, but... Right, he does. Oh, he's Japanese voice Saitama. I went. I went to one hundred to zero. Yeah, I. I. Mm. It was your first five star. Let's go. Like it got a bit warmer. Huh? How That's that because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. Mm. Wait! Wait, 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 wait. Is that the same universe as Genshin Impact? Like, but only in the future? Because, like, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. Different universe? Then why is it similar? It's a multiverse, I see. In the midst of the conflict, the Eternal Freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. Honkai, Star Rail, and Genshin are all in a multiverse? I see. Oh, Genshin reference? The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. He sure saying some weird stuff. <laughs> a marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh huh. So why is he telling us all this? He's um. Is he not like listening to you all? You wanted to know. Uh. <laughs> Midgar. Thank you for the follow. Yay, level nine. Wow. Woohoo. Yay. Let's go. Woohoo. Yay. Okay. Let's follow. We saw Jeffrey. strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you. That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. We're lacking in intel. Okay. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the Architects. Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Bellabog, thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. Mm -hmm. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. He gives um, Dragon Age Inquisition Cullen vibes. I don't know if you guys have ever played Dragon Age, but he gives Cullen vibes. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current guardian is Madame Kakolia Rand, Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Whoa, she sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. 
Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Nice. Uh, we're gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Um, I don't think that Paimon talking more than Lumine either is because of, like, language. I, I guess it's just, like, every RPG where they want a silent protagonist where you can, like, immerse yourself and, like, feel like you are the protagonist, for example. That's something that happens a lot in, like, Persona games, for example. Um, or, like, games that they want you to make the decision so they don't put... You know, like, for example, Dragon Age Origins, um, the main character does not talk. It's you kind of, like, calling the shots. Even though this one and Genshin, your options don't really, like, carry over that much. Like, it does not really matter. It just changes, like, a dialogue line. It's kind of for the player to feel like they're part of the game. Oh... <sighs> Can I tag along? Let's not waste time. No one will notice. Okay. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Adam Cocolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. Madam Cocolia. I guess we're gonna get to level 10. Meaningless sacrifice. Bronia. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Bronya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> yes. Mother. Oh, it's her mom. Oh, she's so pretty. And she's so and so short. <laughs> Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jepard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the eternal freeze. Or perhaps I should say from beyond the sky. No? How do you know? <laughs> I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. Hmm... So you believe we come from beyond the sky? <laughs> do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. Wait, you know what I was thinking? Watch me getting Gip a Gepard now. Watch me getting him. That's I, I was thinking, like, now that I don't want him, I think the game is going to give me. Jeopard. Watch. That's gonna be it. I am pretty sure. I'm scared. I probably... I, I, I don't want to pull. I don't want to pull anymore. We came to trailblaze this planet. Uh, do you think anyone's gonna know <laughs> what you're talking about? I don't care, Marge. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Is he wearing earbuds? Objects that fell from Here. the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as fragmentum space corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Hmm... These Stellarons were cast by the Aeons of Destruction. Which is why the Antimatter Legion and Stellarons often show up together. Worlds seeded with Stellarons give birth to Fragmentums. As for the Eternal Freeze, it must have been a product of the Stellaron, unique to the environment of your world. You can see us as... 
kind-hearted interstellar public servants, <laughs> lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. <clears throat> Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today. But why should you care? Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. Please help us locate the Stellaron. Please let us help you. That's a little better. Yeah. FYI, we're pretty awesome. <laughs> FYI? You know how to seal the Stellaron. Do we? We have the relevant means. Oh, okay. Very well. I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Wait, um... Is she naked on this part? <laughs> like, where is, where is the part of her clothes? Like, what is happening here? What is going on? It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Okay. Thank you, Supreme Guardian. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. I can see it better later. I, I don't think I want to see it later. <laughs> it, it's okay. It, it's okay. I, I can see it now. <laughs> Of course, I understand. Do not worry. I have a way. Oh? Is she plotting some something against us? Huh. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Nice. She's very... No, she's impressive. She's the big shot! Definitely got that Queen of the Castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. Maybe she is being, like, controlled by the Stellaron? <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait. Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Hello, I didn't get yet. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Is it Serval? Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's oh. been sealed off. I guess we should go, then. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oops. Um, visit. Sure. There. Actually, no. Never mind. I mean, I, I can't get sealed, so there's no point. Wow, look at the carved ice. It feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. It looks like a crystal. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? There is a girl. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I 
I just threw a bomb at the uh, random people. So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. Oh yeah, I did her trial. But you can call me Pela. Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. <laughs> and perhaps the grown-ups among us could refrain from acting like children? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopoth. It was they that foresaw crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions? Is it... Wait, we'd already... <laughs> Any questions? Oh, wow, we have a lot of questions. What are those blue questions? You crystals? mean, what are they made of? It's Geomero that's undergone a change in color. Geo? The color of Geomero is related to the environmental temperature during its refinement. The monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopoth. It was they that foresaw the crisis, built up our walls, and established Bellabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. She is so small. She's just like me talking to people in the, of normal height, you know? Like, <laughs> I'm probably as tall as her. Whenever I'm talking to someone that is tall, it's exactly the same. Or, to put it another way, the architects are Bellabog's founders and saviors. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Wait, how tall is uh, Sample? I was gonna call him Shampoo again. That's a question for the Scientific Research Division, though they may not be able to give you a definitive answer. The Eternal Freeze is no ordinary natural disaster. Rah. Meteorological records from hundreds of years ago cannot explain the cause. To put it simply, it's a problem that has plagued Bellabog scientists for centuries. Oh, he's very tall? I see. <laughs> I, I can tell like, that he's very tall. And what about you guys? Take your time. We're not in a rush. I mean, yeah, he is very tall. Let's see. And she is very short, I guess. But yeah, like he's taller than the average citizen in here. Except for this lady, she is tall. Neverwinter Workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh my god, Dunhan. I I cannot stand you, Dunhan. You're so cute, but like you give me all hate and vibes. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. I can't stand you already. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Maybe. This is how they repel the turtle freeze. If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. <laughs> Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. There's someone listening to us. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that oh. broken heater. That's a, a servo. Oh, wow, she's cool. She truly is. Hello? 
Hi there. The name's Serval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Okay. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Who oh, are these fetters? Um... We only just got here. Everything's new to us. Only just got here? Yeah, um, someone told me that Asta is Mona's voice, act <coughs> voice actor. Sorry. Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. So she's interested in us just because we came from another planet? Nice. Where is Shampoo's reflection? I imagine Fontaine is gonna be something like this, right? Oh god, ouch. But like in water? The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city. Both above and below the surface. Oh, there's something below? What is your Geomero? It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Above and beneath the surface. You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. Wait, that's Midgard? <laughs> that's literally Final Fantasy VII. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Wait. Wait. Ah, uh, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Okay, why is the heater outside? Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. For you, I guess, because for me, it does not make sense. Thanks for your answer. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. I know if she's a surreal, yes. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Okay. Help Servo fix the, mach the heater. Um. Um. Hmm. Right. Do I understand what what was said? No. Is the end that can be unlocked? Okay. How do I? Oh. Oh, easy. That was that was too easy. Can you nice. Serve you guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Sure. <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? No, it's because she's hot. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. Okay, Serval. All right. Leave my wallet out of it, please. Oh my god! <laughs> I I'm glad I cannot destroy things. 
Wait, I have not found any chests in a while. Just a decoration. Okay. I have not found any. Is this normal or did I miss the chest? I feel like there is something going wrong on my playthrough. God, my nose is itchy. Ah, uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? Yep. I can't believe how close it is to the city center. We should just sneak. There's some hidden chests in town. Oh, I see. Thank you. Can interact with trash cans. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back. This is your final warning. But... But my proof of property is inside. I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. Oh, I see the trash can, like, sparkling. No. As long as the Stellaron is active, the corrosion will continue to spread. The soldiers can only periodically clear the Fragmentum of monsters. But the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Right here, right now, emerge. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! <sighs> okay. Hey, can I not get it? What do you want? You try to hold back the urge to open it? <laughs> Why not? Why? As you continue staring at the trash cans, they seem to turn before your very eyes. From the lead comes a faint golden glow. For a moment, the trash cans turn into treasure chests. You take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper into the trash can? There's a piece of iron scrap on the bottom. You look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain, I get it. The urge is too great for you to resist. There's no turning back once you've walked down this path. Why are y'all judging me like this? Damn. Okay. <laughs> I don't see any chests. I guess there is none for the time being. What is this? Hmm. Okay, let's continue the mission then. Wow, what a beautiful lobby. It's going to be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Let's hope. Want to have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuffed with goose feathers. <laughs> what? March. Earlier in Klepoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's... not what I was going to say. All right, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort... Uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Yeah, she was sus. Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Huh. Really? S Nope, she seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Yeah, you didn't... Okay, you didn't notice. Although, Fine. it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, 
but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Maybe she was seeing something in the uh, back. Do you have to put it like that? That's scary. <laughs> it must have been the invisible man. Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Oh, I bet she won't. Mm. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Goofy as well. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. Okay. That's enough fun for today. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. And instant noodles. And hot cocoa. I know that's not a good combination, but like first you get the noodles, and then after a while you drink hot cocoa. Uh, I've got a bad feeling. Well, don't talk about it then. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's get to bed early Gee. and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! Door. Yay, we're going to bed. Oh my god, wow. What is this? It's collecting everything. <laughs> Are you? What are you? Wait, does she know the, about the Stellaron since she was young? We are allies. What do you want? To Very weird. I thought hey, I would level up. Did you but hear that? That was HP. There's a group of silver main guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. Oh, I should have hid in the claws. Oh, I see. I I I wouldn't have thought of that anyway. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. You guys are assuming a lot. You can't always be friendly on the job, you know. Huh. You must have had some miserable jobs. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. She's too sassy. Oh my goodness. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. What Commander Branya wants to Are we in a lot of trouble? Um, maybe. What did we do? Huh? It's you. You were there at the fort. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord in the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Huh? Are we going to jail? As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourselves against the accusations. It does not seem very fair that I don't have the choice to speak right now. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Ten years in the joint. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. 
This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Yes. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. <laughs> That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. If you had shut your mouth, she would not know what you were planning, Marge. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Dunham, the alley. Huh? The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. They are not hearing us? Legend of Hero? I never heard of Legend of Hero. March. Be ready to make an escape. Uh oh Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. Um... It's not our never. Three of a kind. I guess we are a strange trio. Shh. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? No. Two pair? Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! Run! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Did we just hit that guy in the head? What a bat. Oh. Have an ice day. Wait, where are we going? They charged straight in. Yep, like three dumbasses. Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Girl. Yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabog security. That is what I must do. She sounds like a robot. She's pretty. Yeah, she's really pretty, but like she sounds like a robot. Ha! See? They weren't brave enough to follow us. Freedom! Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. March. We got lucky. Well, you can get good at getting lucky. I wish. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. <laughs> Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Ooh, I am Trail Blaze 10. <laughs> Lucky's a skew issue. I mean, that's what she was saying, basically. I guess I can go to Pon Pon. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Imagine launching a surprise attack when your enemy is fast asleep. Ugh, the cheek! Huh. That woman had a troubling aura. Our instincts were correct. So maybe she was she's been controlled. Get this. Bro. <laughs> You're supposed to attack the enemy. <laughs> Time for the main event. Okay, how do you speed it up here? <laughs> Let's see. We're just having fun. <laughs> Tough luck running into me. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Oh, it goes really fast. I see, I see, I see. I see. <laughs> How are you gonna win if you don't take any risks? What is this? He, yeah, he changed his line. Listen. Good for you, and I'm so sorry, but I ain't reading all that right now. I'm just gonna get it and read later. <laughs> you never noticed that? We're, we're not reading that. Genshin Syndrome. Oh, there's just too much to read. Customer 
skiing. Everybody is weak to songs for you. This is a cool. <laughs> Yeah, this game is free, yeah? It's free, but at uh, what cost? Huh. The cost of your sanity, bro. <laughs> Time for the main event. Keep up! Uh. My turn! <laughs> the game <laughs> how you gonna win if you don't take any risks i am not enjoying the gotcha <laughs> the gotcha the gotcha is beating me up like usual what is this oh okay this is a shortcut interesting interesting Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it. Yes, the gacha is just your normal oil beat down. <laughs> Turn it up. More business, eh? It just shows you like, hey, don't have any hope. <laughs> Told you I could fight. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Told you I he, could fight. He, he really changes his line. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move. Now I notice. Rules are made to be broken. Yo, I don't think I'm gonna be able to go back to normal speed. Yeah. My turn. Let's make it quick. Damn. My team kind of good right now. You can't either. Keep up! Tough luck running into me! Um... I guess... Here! Uh, try that again! This is our chance. For an owl out attack. Shoot! Oh, 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 he... Not looking good for her. Turn it up! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Or rock with it! Am I still in... 2.0? Oh, wait, did I get burned? Oh, no. Girl, you're gonna die. <laughs> Try that again. Gotta try hard so watch this awesome move. This is our chance. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. I like his line on the on the fast better. <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. <laughs> I like it better. Oh nice. Formidable foe defeated. Let's go. Uh, no cash. Did he just moan? All of a sudden? You good? Let me just go heal real quick. Wait, do we have healers in this game or something? Because like, I... I need a healer. Oh, Natasha is a healer, and then I got Hook. She is free? Really? How is she free? Find a way to leave the fragment and then shake the pursuers. How 
how do I leave? Am I not supposed to be in this area? Wait, how do I leave? Wait, there's eight chests in this part? How? Guards here. Careful not to alert them. You must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Are you sure? I, I would love to fight them and get some XP. Wait. There are still remain guards. You must have entered. We should avoid an open Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to another direction. Gee. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open this gate. Ooh, check this mechanism out. Look familiar? Wait, haven't we already used this mechanism? Yes. We saw one in Serval's workshop. Oh, uh, it's not Serval, it's Sherval. We need to solve it before we run out of time. The guards are right on our heels. Okay. So we're so let let's do it. Let's do it. Do I have time for this? That's very easy. It is easy. This song's for you. Keep up. Told you I could fight. Better than Inazuma. For sure. This is our chance. Uh, okay. Yo, I think my team is kind of like doing well right now. Or maybe like I'm just running on Copion or something. And the enemies are weak. There's the guard. Should I just beat their ass or something? Wait, there are still remain guards. We should avoid an open. Okay, I can't. They should just let me beat them up. <laughs> Time for the main event. Turn it up. More business, eh? <laughs> I'm not using their oats. Running into me. Right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, Serval has been like destroying. I'm not using the oats, by the way, before anybody says anything. I'm just like trying to love to kind of like have energy on all of the oats in case we have a boss battle. I don't see a switch for the gate. Uh, over there. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Okay, we just kill it. Easy. My inventory? Oh. I see. <laughs> you. Okay, so we got a buff. Okay, okay, cool. Very nice. Oops. Whoa! <laughs> what was that? Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it. Rock with it. Damn. Sir I've always just like doing a lot. Dude, Sir always doing too much damage. <laughs> How you gonna win if you don't take any risk? Nice. I I guess it was not a mistake to level up her weapon after all. And also I got her signature weapon or whatever. 
I guess it is our signature. Look out! <laughs> <sighs> you dare underestimate me. <gasps> Oof, I guess we're fighting Bronia. Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. No. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. No, uh oh, if you don't tell me what crime I committed, I'm not going with you because that's against the law. Okay, that's against the law. You have to tell me you are under arrest because of this, this, and that. And not just tell me that I'm under arrest. Who are you trying to kid? I'm gonna call Yenfei. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Kokolia received us as honored guests. They both crazy. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madam Guardian investigated your backgrounds. And what backgrounds? Because she does not even know our names. Bronia, are you dumb? She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Oh my god, she she's so fragile. Like she thinks that the, the rules of the architects are so fragile that three kids. Bronia, your mom is weak. Huh, what a two-faced hag! <laughs> oh my god, March! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. Better call Yanfei, we're getting in trouble. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. Let's go. That's why I leveled my Ready characters to up. Today. You know what? What are you waiting for? Y'all are gonna get bombs. To betray my customers, I charge extra. <laughs> time for the main event. Oh, I don't have energy. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just give a shoot. <laughs> Here. You can't run. Hmm. That's it? That's your guards? <sighs> Lady Bronya. Hmm. I'll handle these evil doers myself. Oh, she pulled a gun. <laughs> she just pulled a gun on us. Girl, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. crash the party? Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. I don't think I can speed this fight. Maybe since it's a boss fight, I don't need to speed it. Gotta try hard sometimes. Wait, I can't check out it. this awesome move. <laughs> Here to crash the party. Turn up the volume. Uh, rules are made to be broken. You're out. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We better get some shields up. Stay right there while I give you a present. We have another turn. Interesting. Huh. Can't believe I froze her. Keep up. My tempo! Sampo Koski always takes care of his friend. <laughs> My turn. Okay, let's. Watch this! Okay, better. She had a protection of what? Better up! She was taking. Oh, so she was not taking damage <laughs> on her shield, I guess. <laughs> Oof. Stop right there! <laughs> okay, we you need it. 
we need to shoot on her really quickly. Let's rock. Try that again. Do your own. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Onward. Oh, more people. <laughs> We're just having fun. Uh-huh. Short thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, nice. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. I, I guess we're doing okay. <laughs> we're doing fine. With me out here, how can we lose? Nice. You can't fight. Oh, Chris, nice. Sometimes check out this awesome move. Back off. Go away. My shoe. Try that again. You should hit this guy. Pretty good crowd today. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. <laughs> Better up. Nice. It's okay. Everything's Stop fine. Right Everything's not fine. This song's just for you. Keep up. In my tempo. Try this on for size. Let's make it quick. Oh! Wait, she almost died. Fight with me. Oh shit. The menace. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or he rock is truly with a it. menace. My music conquers all. Easy. Don't mess with me, Bronya. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung! Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. Uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sure. I, I believe you, girl. I do. Of course. Thank you. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I have one thing to say. Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. Okay. <laughs> well. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. It is not dead which creates them. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You That's so creepy. <laughs> I understand. It is so creepy. <sighs> Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Who that? Uh, then why hasn't he woken up yet? Because he's sound asleep. Didn't you hear him sleep talking? Poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Wait, is that Natasha? Hey, nice to meet you. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... Don't tell me he got someone that he was not supposed to bring with us. You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. 
What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze. Before I knew it, I'd somehow dragged her down here too. Who he brought? Did he bring Bronya? What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. If these guys scratch my back, how could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? <laughs> and another thing, where does wildfire get off Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Oh my god. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? Oof. What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. Is sleepy head? Okay. Oh god. I can't believe hey, did, did he bring don't tell me he brought Bronia here, dude. There is no way. Like he tried to rescue us and brought Bronia. <sighs> He's a true dumbass.